I'd like to propose a toast to the bride and groom. I remember when I introduced Emily to Kyle. Kyle was working as a fry cook at a little cafe over on Broadway while he went to dishwasher repair school at night. He was the only cook I ever knew that couldn't make a decent over easy egg. At any rate, one day I asked Emily to meet me at the diner because I thought that she and Kyle might make a cute couple. Knowing Emily's fondness for breakfast foods, I told her how awesome Kyle's eggs were. She took the bait and ordered over easy eggs, hash browns, and sausage. When her food was served, the eggs were disgusting as always. I really thought that she was going to lose it right there at the table. When the green finally faded from her face, she demanded to see the cook. Everything was going according to plan. Kyle came out of the kitchen with a sheepish look on his face. He had obviously been through this before. He looked at Emily and said, Is there something wrong, ma'am? I thought Emily was going to just completely come unglued. Ma'am? Did you just call me ma'am? Do I look like an 80-year-old grandmother to you? I have to admit, at this point, things had strayed from my plan just a little bit. Now, being a bad cook, Kyle was used to getting complaints about his food. Most of the comment cards at the diner mentioned botulism, lean cuisine, hunger strikes, and occasionally all three. He was not used to getting complaints from irate kindergarten teachers. But Kyle is nothing if not quick on his feet. So without even batting an eye, he said, No, you don't look like you're 80, but you do look like someone that has an Aaron Rodgers poster on your wall. Well, I don't have to tell you how Emily feels about Aaron Rodgers and his discount double check. And the rest, as they say, is history. But there's one thing Emily never knew. After Emily had left the diner, Kyle looked at me and said, I think I just met the future Mrs. Peterson. And I smiled and said, if I know Emily, she just met the future Mr. Belinsky. Cheers.